Welcome back, folks. It's time to start crowning state champions in Iowa for high school girls wrestling. It's been a busy day from the Extreme Arena over in Coralville, Iowa. That's where Sports Forces Irvin Doman joins us live from. Irvin, how's day one gone so far? Well, Jason, day one has been a day full of excitement and full of hope for these Siouxland wrestlers and teams in hopes that they can bring home a state title or two. So let's just jump right into the morning session and see how it unfolded. In front of a sold out crowd here in Coralville, the matches started in the 100 pound weight class. Brooklyn DeRocher picks up a fall victory for the Lamar's Bulldogs. Now we'll keep it rolling, staying in the 100 pound weight class as Kiera Ruiz Gets a fall victory for the Spencer Tigers. We'll hear from Ruiz just a little later on. Keeping it moving now up to 110 where Sergeant Bluff Luton gets a fall victory courtesy of Lila Walding. Now in 115, Cora Shutt from Sioux Center pins her opponent to advance into round two. Now up into 125, Destiny Brown gets a fall victory bringing home a win for Ridgeview. Staying with the Ridgeview Raptors, this time in 135 as Isabella Deeds picks up the pin and advances into round two. Now back to the Spencer Tigers, 140 pound weight class, Shaylee Sutherland picks up a huge takedown and follows it up with a pin. And she says all the hard work this season has been worth it, especially being around her teammates. They're very supportive. I'm so thankful for my teammates. I, I don't know what I would do without them. Up to 145 pounds now, where it's an all Siouxland showdown on the mat. Lucy Konechny gets the job done as she pins Kareem Pena, and the Central Lion George Little Rock wrestler advances. Now, as promised, we move into round two here, where Ruiz from Spencer picks up a huge reversal late that helps her secure a decision victory. Very happy about it because this is my first year um, actually making it to state because last year I didn't. So I feel like I've really improved and it's showing how much like how much hard work you can put in that you will get somewhere. So I'm just really excited. Now the Ridgeview Raptors making some more noise this time in round two as Tatum Shepard picks up a victory. Every year people are always kind of hyping me up before and last year kind of, you know, got to my head. I was nervous of not, you know, performing the way I should. And this year I just kind of let loose all that and I'm just here to wrestle. And Olivia Huckfelt from Spencer making her presence felt in 235 as she gets the pin in her second match of the day as she advances to the third round. I knew that match was going to be tough. That girl is not, not no slouch. Um, now, from now on, they're all going to be really tough. I just have to go out there. I'm not going to lose. I know that for a fact. And that's not an option at, at Spencer with all the coaches. And um, I'm just going to go there one match at a time. I have one more tonight. See where that puts me. Hope that puts me in the semifinals. And then tomorrow's going to be a big day and just take it from there. Now, Jason, the excitement is rolling even higher as we enter the evening session, and we'll have highlights from e the evening session tonight coming up at 10, and if my math is right, we are down to 12. That is right, 12 Sioux, Sioux Land wrestlers with a chance at a state championship. Jason? All right, thank you very much for the update, Irvin.